I've just gotten into wigs. Wigs are so much fun. When can you have bleach blonde hair and not harm your hair? Or when can you have super short hair or super long hair? Or pink hair um, one day and then go back to your regular hair the next? I just, this is so much fun and I don't know why there's not more people screaming from the rooftops about how awesome wigs are. I'm going to talk to you today about how to put on a wig and how to secure your hair underneath it. So when I first got one, I had it on. I was brushing it with just a regular brush, which you're not supposed to do. I was brushing it and it just flew off. <laughs> so my sister-in-law, Wendy, knows all about wigs. And so I texted her immediately and was like, how do I keep this on my head? What do I need to do? Wendy told me that you have to get this little strap. Okay, this is called Dream Lover Wig Grip, Scarf and Wig Grip. And it came in a two pack on Amazon. And so I will link that below because I got exact, I got wig hair in my lip gloss. So you have to start with this, I, I feel like. I mean, there's other ways you can do it. You can glue them down with got to be glued, um, the gel or the hairspray. We're not gonna do that today. We're doing something simple. The way I have mine now is one way that you could do it. Ta-da! <laughs> so I have a lot of hair and it's long. Uh, this comes with a lot of these wigs. This is a wig cap. Let's just start from the from the very beginning and look how bad my hair is today. Woo. Okay, so let's get this done as quickly as possible. This little stocking cap it is open-ended. Okay, there's a hunk of wig hair on it. So it's open-ended. So what you would do is you're gonna just put this underneath, like all down. Maybe I should just do it instead of trying to narrate. So I've got hoop earrings on, which could be a problem. So you're gonna leave the band around the base of your hair, like that. If your wig is really short, I know the diehards that wear wigs all the time, like 24 seven, they'll shave these little baby hairs. Um, it just kind of depends. Different style of wigs, you know, fit differently. So, and then just start tucking it in there. See, that makes me have a nice big hump on the top of my head. I'm just kind of mushing it, mushing it around. And you could leave that open if that would stay. I do have a hump, so I'm trying to just kind of smooth this around and try to get it as flat to my head as possible. And then what you would do is you put your little wiggy grip. It has a directional tab on it. It says that this has to be on the right side of your head. So you just do that. Make sure it's not twisted. These little wig grips work with the velvet, uh, what do you call that, the nap of the fabric. So it has to go a certain way. And so this kind of grabs. I don't know who came up with this, but they were a genius. So you're gonna grab it at the little back tabs. This one has the little bra strap tops. Uh, you can make it tighter or looser. Uh, and then you're gonna put your head, your forehead, down low in the bangs and then just stretch it on over. So that's what we're doing. Kind of wiggling it down. And then it has two little tabs on the side. You kind of pull on those tabs and those tabs are called ear tabs. They should go right in front of your ear. You'd wanna, you wanna kind of style your wig and adjust your wig a little bit. But that's, that's one way to do it. So another method, let me just show you a couple of different ways. So we're gonna go over this. Just depending on the kind of hair that you have. What I'm doing is I'm gonna slick my hair back, which mine's going back pretty well because I've had on uh, my little wig cap all day long. So this is another type of wig cap. Okay, so this is a standard wig cap. If you were gonna do a lace front and you were really gonna glue it down, I apologize, you know my dog is constantly snoring back there in the background, so I'm sure y'all gonna hear that. Um, if you were gonna do a lace front and you were really gonna officially glue it down and make it all pretty, you would use this flesh-toned top hat or cap, um, but we're not doing that today. So now I've got most of the top part in there. I'm gonna split my hair into two halves and we're just gonna try to twist this into a little bun and tuck it up underneath Pojo. okay 
So I'm just going to tuck. Can y'all see that? It's sticking out. Hey! And this would just be style dependent, I think. If you had a really short pixie that you were trying to wear, this might show. So, I'm just tucking that up under. If your buns, if your buns are low, <laughs> you got more problems than your wig falling off. Uh, you want your buns low. <laughs> That's just funny. Yeah, okay. So you want those kind of at the base of your head. Because if they're up here, they would show. So down, down here is the best place for those. So we're after saggy buns is what, is what we're after. All right, so then you're gonna put your wig band, wig grip on, and I'm putting it right over, right over those little hair buns back there. See that? Okay, and that's got that pretty, pretty well flat. It's right above my ears. You don't wanna pin your ears down. Get your head in there, you stretch it over your cap. Get your little ear tabs. Make sure they're even and straight. You don't want one higher than the other, straight. And then you can grab the whole front and pick it up and lay it down right on your hairline, okay? Uh, and it's all right to grab it and pick it up like that. Even if you have a lace front, you just you don't wanna grab it by your little tiny little hairs and lift. You wanna grab a good chunk of it and then you can lift it up and place it. I'm using my special wig brush, little loops. So that is option two. The third option and the final option, the last option, um, requires a little more work. So let's just look at it and see what we think about it. I wanna have short hair, I wanna have pink hair, I wanna have all the things. I wanna do it all. They say that you don't need a wig cap, that the only reason to wear this would be for like hygienic reasons. Um, I do know that when you are doing a lace front and you're trying to make it look like your hair's right here, most of the people do wear a wig cap. That's a whole different, uh, a whole different ball of wax. They wear a wig cap and trim this off. So we're not gonna do that. I've got some cheap barrettes. You can section your hair off. Just kind of twisting it into little buns. I'm using these big clippies that bend and lay flat next to your head. And let's do another one. And my battery's gonna die. I don't think there's any special way. You just kind of keep clipping your hair up. And let's do this. I can't do that and look in the in the mirror. So just making little twists. Just pinning it up. Just kind of making little pin curl type things. Okay, yeah, so this is five clips. And I've just evenly spaced them all over my head. Probably could have clipped it a little tighter back there at the back. And then you're gonna use your wig grip. I know I'm kinda out of frame, aren't I? Okay, if I hunch down. <laughs> We're gonna use the wig grip to really kinda hold it. My hair is just kinda clipped up there in random ways. And that feels cooler already. Cause that little wig net thing is hot. All right, so we're gonna put this on. Pull it over my hair. I can definitely tell that my wig probably needs to be tightened. Uh, pick it up, put it on your hairline right there. I don't think I centered that. There we go. Now we're centered. And then just place it. If you wanted to glue this down, you could use that got to be glued or it's a gel. Um, or you could use hairspray and spray that down. That's a whole lace front application. So those are three options for if you have longer hair, how to get that underneath this wig. All right, so we're gonna try 
a short wig. This is a little wig. Now this one is a lace front. Same kind of deal, picking it up, putting it down, picking it up, putting it down. Okay. This one still has the tag on it because I don't know if I'm keeping it yet. Uh, and I need to trim this lace right there. I just wanted to see if that method, that feels really good. That doesn't feel as, I don't know how to explain it. Like almost like you're like, like you just have layers and layers and layers and layers of stuff holding your head down. Uh, this feels a little, a little better. I don't know. I'll have to wear that and see, but that's just another option. So there you have it. The three ways that I know, I know there's tons of different ways. This wig, I don't even know. This wig is like, I don't, I don't know. I think this is a return. <laughs> Those are the three ways that I know of to put long hair up under a wig. So maybe that'll help somebody. Uh, I'm kind of looking at it like it's a hobby, but I'm addicted. This is so much fun. Not sure that I'm addicted to this style, but we'll see. Okay, y'all have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.